There is nothing I love more than an amazing meal with high quality meat cooked at home because let's be honest, eating out is so expensive. And you also know that eating out is the number one budget buster. That is why I am so glad I found ButcherBox. ButcherBox is a premium meat subscription service dedicated to delivering high quality, grass fed, and grass finished beef, organic chicken, pork raised crate free, and wild caught seafood directly to your doorstep with free shipping always. You even get exclusive member deals, recipes, and a variety of high-quality cuts at an amazing price. New users will receive their choice of two pounds of ground beef, three pounds of chicken thighs, or one pound of premium steak tips for a year. Use code ETM and get $20 off your first box at butcherbox.com. Last night, we made a beef stew with meat from ButcherBox, and you can taste the difference. It was so satisfying and delicious. And all of our friends that were over for a dinner party, they raved at how good it was. So do yourself a favor and eat better this year with the best meat and seafood on the planet delivered to your door. ButcherBox is offering my listeners their choice of a weeknight meal essential, three pounds of chicken thighs, two pounds of ground beef, or one pound of premium steak tips, for free in every order for a year. Plus, get $20 off your first order. Sign up today at butcherbox.com slash etm and use code etm to choose your free offer and get $20 off. Millions of people have lost weight with personalized plans from Noom, like Evan, who can't stand salads and still lost 50 pounds. Salads generally for most people are the easy button, Right. For me, that wasn't an option. I never really was a salad guy. That's just not who I am. But Noom worked for me. Get your personalized plan today at Noom.com. Real Noom user compensated to provide their story. In four weeks, the typical Noom user can expect to lose one to two pounds per week. Individual results may vary. So here's the thing. When you start to think about your thoughts and a thought and an emotion repeated over time, thought and an emotion repeated over time create your beliefs. And our belief system was created when we were young. So, you know, talking about money, let's think about where did your beliefs come from in regards to money? Welcome to Everyone's Talking Money Podcast. I'm your host, Shauna Game. There's no judgment, no dumb questions, just smart conversations about you and your money. So come on in and grab a seat. Everyone is welcome here. When it comes to work, communication is key. Even if you don't have a writing job. Sounding unconfident, indecisive, or passive-aggressive can hold you back professionally and hurt your team's productivity. Grammarly Premium's advanced tone suggestions make sure you're always sending the right message. Sound clear and confident in your writing and automatically replace negative-leaning language with solution-focused alternatives. With Grammarly's help, you can build stronger relationships at work, be constructive in the face of challenges, and help your team get things done. Grimly works where you do, so your team's projects get done before the deadline. And with features like comprehensive spelling, grammar, and clarity-focused sentence rewrites, Grimly helps keep your writing efficient and mistake-free. The right tone can move any project forward. Get it just right with Grimly. Go to Grimly.com slash podcast to sign up for free. Then get 20% off when you upgrade to premium. That's 20% off at Grimly.com slash podcast. I've been fascinated by understanding how you actually achieve goals and really move past belief systems that don't serve you anymore, particularly when it comes to money. Have you ever had like a goal, maybe even a big goal, but you just can't seem to get there no matter what you do? Maybe you doubt your ability to do it or your bank account to actually get you there. I feel like this is a lifelong process, but along the way, you get access to gems that I think if you really utilize them, help you speed up the process. Our guest, Hilary DeCesar, is one of those gems. She is an award-winning entrepreneur and author of a new book called Relaunch, Spark Your Heart to Ignite Your Life. Hilary's got a proprietary 3HQ method 
that helps you combine your head, heart, and higher self to create new brain patterns and really shed those limiting beliefs because yes, it all exists in our brains. You'll learn how to use Hillary's 3HQ system to start achieving your goals. And in the process, you're also going to better your relationship with money. We dive deep in this one. So let's start talking. You know, I think we both can agree that this this global pandemic has a lot of us asking ourselves, like, is this life I actually want to live? And so many people are saying no, but I don't exactly know what to do about it. Um, I read this stat, you probably know this, but in 2021, 47 million people just voluntarily decided to leave their jobs and try to find something a little bit different. But I know there's always, you know, the fear and change and money and belief systems like that all kind of gets into the way of things. And I want to dive deep into that. But first, you say that sometimes quitting is actually starting. So tell us about this idea of quitting to start. Mm, Well, I have to take you back to when I worked at Oracle, a high tech company, Silicon Valley, and I had something that I kind of termed corporate guilt. And I felt guilty when I was at work because I wasn't with my three little kids. And I felt guilty when I was home because I knew I had a bunch of other things I needed to do. So I was caught in the middle. And hopefully a lot of the people listening can understand what I mean by that. Like you're never you're never where you're supposed to be. Right. You're never satisfied. You're never present because you're always thinking about like when I'm going to be doing this or when I'm going to be able to do that. And so what's happening today, and I often call it, you know, relaunches that are happening within people. And for the first time ever, we have global relaunches with the pandemic. As you mentioned, we have uh, health crises, financial crises. We've got all of these things going on globally that's causing a lot of stress. And then we've got business professional relaunches that are happening like the great resignation, like people trying to feel like, you know, is this really what I want to do? Am I really satisfied with where I am? We've got this quiet quitting that, you know, people are staying in their job, but they're not really happening. And then we've got personal relaunches that are happening, right? We've got, you know, relationships that are changing and, and people moving after, you know, being in a certain area for a long time. And so it's all come together. It's like this big self-combustion. And so people are reassessing. People are looking at it and they're waking up in the morning and they're saying, okay, I just had this crazy night of sleep. Now what? Right, exactly. And I mean, it's kind of like perfect storm, right? (laughs) It is the perfect storm. Like so many things happening at one time. It's almost like it's forcing us to look at everything again and really I think maybe try to step into like an authentic place for ourselves or figure out what that even means. I think for so many of us, it's like, like, wait a minute, who am I actually? Um, I, I want to go back to those belief systems because we talk about it a lot on the show. Sometimes we have big goals, like we want to change our career, but then the voices of our partner, or our friends or family, or even just our own voice kind of get in there and tell us that we're crazy, like we're not going to make enough money, we're not good enough, all of those things. And then we just we just kind of stay stuck. So, you know, how do we untangle, maybe even first become aware of, but then untangle these kind of false belief systems that are keeping us stuck? Mm, so there's something that I am, um, I just wrote a book called Relaunch, Spark Your Heart to Ignite Your Life. And one of the things that the book is really based on is this idea that you just said, and it is called the three HQ. And it's a framework that anybody, anytime can pull out and use. And it's so powerful because it's within each and every one of us. And three HQ stands for head, heart, higher self. And what does that really mean? It means that we got to get out of our head. We got to get out of our head, tap into our heart so that we can actually be in alignment with higher self, which is your best version of you, as you said, authentic self. And where we run into problems is in the head. We spend so much time trying to maneuver our way through, push through, trying to make things happen when they aren't necessarily in alignment with us. And so you have running in the background, 
we know that we have 6,250 thoughts a day. <laughs> and I have to do the research on this because I initially put, you know, what I had always heard and what I was, was I, what I was taught, which was 60 to 80,000 thoughts a day. And then my editor said, well, prove that. Where is it? And I'm like, oh, wait, it's been de debunked. We now know that it's 6,250. Which is still a lot, eight, right? <laughs> which is still a ton, a ton. And 85% of those are negative. Wow. So all of a sudden it makes you take this like sigh of relief that it's not just you. You are programmed to be trying to keep yourself safe, to keep yourself in certainty of like what's going to happen because that's who we are. That is what, you know, for millions of years, that's what we've had to do. So here's the thing. When you start to think about your thoughts and a thought and a re an emotion repeated over time, thought and an emotion repeated over time, create your beliefs. And our belief system was created when we were young. So, you know, I'm talking about money. Let's think about where did your beliefs come from in regards to money? Did your mom, did your dad say, you know, money doesn't grow on trees. You got to, you know, work hard in order to make, you know, money or money's bad you know, being rich is a bad thing, or we're not like that. We're not like them. What are the stories you're telling yourself? Because those stories are based around your belief system and a limiting belief that you don't even know about that's running in your subconscious brain behind the scenes could actually be stalling you out from having revenue that continues to grow quarter after quarter. Have you ever noticed that like things are jamming, things are going so well. And then all of a sudden it's like you get pulled back. Well, gosh, I thought I was going to be able to get to seven figures or eight figures. And then all of a sudden I'm being pulled back again. Yeah. And it's like, why does that happen? And it happens because your identity is around your belief system your beliefs, your identity can't be above your belief system. So if you're constantly thinking, oh, having money or having a successful company is really out of my reach, and you don't even realize that that's what you're thinking, that's actually holding you back from success. That's so powerful what you just said, that our identity can't be above our belief system. And, you know, w part of the work that I always try to do on this show after having worked with hundreds and hundreds of people one on one as a certified financial planner, and I really saw like what was happening, these false belief systems and these patterns and and all of the thoughts and emotions around money that were really keeping people stuck. It wasn't necessarily about, you know, that they just couldn't pay off their debt or they couldn't increase their credit score or whatever it is, whatever the, you know, the goal of the day was. But it was really what you're talking about, all of the gunk that got in the way that they we're not aware of because we don't walk around and talk about these things. Nobody says, hey, let's sit down and let's talk about those false beliefs. But what you're saying is it's so critically important to do that work in order to create change and, as you say, relaunch yourself in a, in a different way. Well, and as you having that certified financial planner, you know, experience, what happens, whether they, you know, are talking to you about, you know, their finances or where they're coming to me and they're like, I want to manifest, you know, this incredibly successful business. And I want to make this huge impact until we get to that point where we really understand that instead of, in you know, one of these, one of these types of limiting beliefs, we've got to break that down and it, you know we have in our head running on autopilot these limiting beliefs until we literally say it's time we got to stop that you're you're going to be continuing to hit the wall every single time because exactly. your subconscious has two things that it is supposed to be doing for you keeping you safe and keeping you familiar it wants you to keep running the process over and over. And in fact, when you start to say, you know what, I'm starting to challenge this story that I've been telling myself that it's actually not mine. It's my family's story. Your subconscious will now be like, wait a second, you're going into that like gray zone. We want to bring <laughs> you back to this zone. 
it's like, you know, mission control. Right, right. Problem. There's a problem. <laughs> There's a problem. So they wanted, you know, it just keeps bringing you back to that limiting belief because that's your belief system. And your belief system is 100% to you factual. You mentioned manifesting. Tell me a little bit about, because I, I think manifesting, it's something I do in my own life, something I believe in, but I still think for a lot of people, it feels maybe a little bit, I don't know, a little, little out there of a concept. But tell me about you know manifesting, how important that is or what role that plays in relaunching yourself. And how do you, how do you manifest? So here's the thing, when you think about what you're trying to bring into your life, and there is scientific evidence that, you know, you, you often hear about, and I get that, you know, the, the woo part, because you hear about like law of attraction, like what you're, you know, thinking and what you want to attract, you'll get. But what really happens and when you think about energy and what you put off, you think about tuning forks. It's such a great example that when one fork, tuning fork starts to vibrate, the other one will also vibrate. There's energy associated with everything. And we know this scientifically. This is not like, ooh, ooh, Hillary's saying something <laughs> that, you know, believe it because I'm saying it. This is like factual. So now when you start thinking about wanting to create a more successful business out there and you start to think about like what you're putting out i want you to think about law of attraction and law of attraction says attract it's attracting like i want to attract but really what you have to be thinking of is physics and law of resonance and what you resonate with you bring into your life what you put out there at an energetic level you're going to be bringing into your life that level of energy, whether it's, you know, you're trying to manifest, whether you're trying to increase or hit a, hit a goal or an objective, you want to put out there what you ultimately want to get back. And we know energy has levels. We can measure levels of energy. Emotions have levels, hurts levels. And so when you think about your thoughts, and you're thinking about like, gosh, I just can't, you know, every Q3, I bomb out what's going on. Well, that has an emotion attached to it. And that emotion has energy attached to it. And there is a vibration that comes off of that energy. And then from there, you've got a frequency that you're sending out. And so what we want to be doing is raising our energy level so that we're not at that low level of shame and blame. And I'm blaming this. I don't have enough money. I don't have enough marketing. I don't have enough, you know, salespeople. And we want to take it up because that's at a 20 to 30 energy level on this, you know, and again, they can measure this and we want to take it up to being able to be at a higher level. Cause then you're going to be attracting in manifesting in at that higher level. So you, you know, there, there's always that victim, victor, we want to be a victor, but there's a real reason we want to be the victor. There's a real reason we want to elevate ourselves to this ability to bring in more of these high paying clients, more of these people that have an energy like you. Often we hear about like minded people that we want to bring in. Well, those are based around a concept, a belief. I want everyone to be thinking and turning this up, like turning it on its head to say, instead, bring in like-minded energy. So what if, you know, somebody's listening and they're like, okay, Hillary, I, I do this. I try to really, you know, focus my thoughts in this way. I, I playing around with this idea of manifesting, but there are a lot of things in society that, you know, might be keeping me down. Like maybe I'm a female and I'm, I'm well underpaid and I don't know how to overcome that reality with my thoughts. Or, I mean, we could go down the line. There are so many different discriminations and, and, and whatnot. Specifically, we're talking about money in society that exists. So how do you balance those, those things? Mm, absolutely. And this is a huge one, especially for women. And when you think about, you know, the glass ceiling and that, you know, men are paid more for the same jobs, I want to take it back to the belief system and what you focus on, that glass ceiling, it continues to stay there. So what if 
we looked at that as what I call a bug, a belief underground surfacing, a limiting belief. And that the limiting wall, even though we're saying that that is, you know, circumstance, Hillary, that's what's happening in the environment. We need to be able to have it within us so that we can see it with, you know, on, on the outside as well. So we have to start with what I call a bug, your belief underground surfacing, this, this belief system, like I can't get, seem to get ahead. I can't seem to get a break. I can't seem to, and you fill in the blank. And once we realize that, okay, wait a second, I do have a limiting belief around this, that I am now tying into a global belief that you are, it's like doom and loom before you even get started. So what we want to do is start with ourselves and say, all right, you know what, is this a circumstantial type of system or can I say, you know what, because are there people right now that have broken through the ceiling? Yes. Can we see evidence out there that there are people that this is not necessarily this, you know, this false sense of this glass ceiling. Once we have evidence that this is not happening for every single person, then there is no difference between you and me having that success. It's how we think about that success. It's how we think about money that is holding us back. So what I do is I take people through a belief blaster. And the belief blaster is neurologically based. It's in, you know, the neuroplasticity of our of our mind, of our head, of our brain. And again, scientifically we can see on scans that when you do this belief blaster with a limiting belief that says, you know, I can't make more than this. My job won't allow me to make more than this. We start to blast that and say, you know what? Instead, I'm creating, I'm taking that limiting belief out. It does take time. It takes 67 days to completely break that apart using my process. But then you create instead an empowering thought an empowering thought that says, you know what, what if there isn't a glass ceiling? What if I do want to, you know, put out there that I, you know, I'm going to make six figures, seven figures, whatever you're going to be doing. Then all of a sudden you're coming out with, because remember your subconscious is going to map to whatever you're training it to do. Uh, It's going to make sure on the outside that it gives you what you have on the inside. And again, talk about manifestation, but also let's talk about the scientific evidence behind it. When it comes to financial advice, you got to trust the source. It's why you listen to this podcast. When I'm looking to upgrade my wallet, I turn to NerdWallet. Their expert team of nerds dives into the details to help you find smarter financial products. Before NerdWallet, I was paying for vacations all wrong. (laughs) I was missing out on miles. I didn't even know I was leaving on the table. Now I've got a new card with more miles and more upgrades. What could future you do with more travel rewards? I don't know, maybe that fancy hotel upgrade that you have always been dreaming about. Wherever you go next, make it happen with a smarter travel credit card. Don't wait to make smart financial decisions. Compare and find smarter credit cards, savings accounts, and more today at nerdwallet.com. Nerdwallet finance smarter. As with all cards, credit is subject to lender approval and terms apply. Financial anxiety, anyone? Yeah, you're not alone. But worrying about it, it doesn't help. Earnin does. Earnin is an app that gives you access to your pay as you work up to $100 per day or up to $750 per pay period. You just download the Earnin app and verify your paycheck. Then you can access up to $100 per day as you work and leave an additional tip. Any money you access plus tips are automatically repaid from your next paycheck. So how would you spend the money you get from Earnin? Well, honestly, my hubby and I have been feeling a little bit disconnected lately. That's what happens after you've been together about 12 years. So I would spend the money on a special date night with dinner and maybe bowling, you know, to bring back some of that giggly excitement that we both felt at the beginning. Make Earnin a part of your financial routine and join Earnin's over three and a half million customers who say things like, when I think about Earnin, I think about financial stability, security, gives me a lot of peace of mind. Download Earnin today, spelled E-A-R-N-I-N, 
in the Google Play or Apple App Store. When you download the Earnin app, type in Talkin, T-A-L-K-A-N, money under podcast when you sign up. It will really help the show. Talkin money under podcast. Subject to your available earnings, location, daily max, and pay period max. See earnin.com slash TOS for details. Earnin is a financial technology company, not a bank. Bank products are issued by Evolve Bank & Trust, member FDIC. Listen, if you've been using Mint to manage your money, I have got some news for you. First, the bad news. As you might know, Mint is shutting down for good. But the good news? Well, there is a way better alternative that is a personal favorite of mine, Monarch Money. And I'm not the only lover of Monarch Money. Many Mint users are turning to Monarch Money and just raving about it. I used to manage my money with an Excel spreadsheet. I know, so archaic. And it was so time consuming. I tried all of the apps. But I just didn't find one I liked until I found Monarch. And I've got to tell you a secret. Monarch is so easy to use with a very intuitive design. You can even collaborate with your partner and you can customize Monarch for whatever your needs are. Monarch is the top rated all-in-one personal finance app. It gives you a comprehensive view of all your accounts, investments, transactions, and more. Create custom budgets, set goals, and collaborate with your partner. And now get an extended 30-day free trial when you go to monarchmoney.com etm. Let's go back to the collaboration bit. Because we know money is a leading cause of divorce and breakups, Monarch has built-in collaboration features so you can invite your partner at no extra cost. You can see all your finances, make a budget together, get insights on your cash. Yes, cue the confetti. There will literally not be any more arguments over money. And if you've been frustrated with personal finance apps that are cluttered with ads, difficult to use, or rarely updated, so was Monarch. They built a new kind of personal finance app that's intuitive and powerful ad-free, and constantly improving based on customer feedback. Monarch has a tool that allows you as well to easily import your data from Mint. You can keep all of your tags and all of your categories. After trying Monarch for myself, I understand why it's the top-rated personal finance app. And right now, get an extended 30-day free trial when you go to monarchmoney.com slash etm. That's M-O-N-A-R-C-H-M-O-N-E-Y dot com slash etm for your extended 30-day free trial. Yeah, I like that. I'm, I like to geek out on the science stuff too. <laughs> Be- I do too. Because That's I, kind of my jam. I, I love it. I think it's, um, yeah, it just shows validity, right, to to what we're talking about. And because so much of this is is the power that's going on in our in our subconscious and in our brains, and we feel like we don't have any control over it. But there are ways to to change it. I find it super fascinating. It's also super frustrating that it's hard to do, <laughs> if I'm going to be honest. <laughs> okay, but Shauna, can I say something Yes, on that? please. Here's the thing. I don't know how old you are, but let's say you're in your 40s. That would be and, correct. Okay, let's say that your limiting beliefs were created when you let's say you're let's say you're 40 exactly and your limiting belief was created anytime between you were five seven years old so you've been carrying this limiting right. belief years. for 35 yeah. years and i'm telling you give me 62 to 67 days to help you with that because neuroscience has advanced so much in the last 10 years that we didn't even know that this was possible. And now we know it. Wow. We see it on scans. I, you can actually, there's a process called synaptic pruning. Think of it like going out to your garden and literally like cutting off part of a rose bush. Mm. It's no longer there. It's gone. Like you have now taken that rose and you're bringing it into the house. It's, it's no longer attached to that rose bush. It's on its own. That's what we do with the belief blaster. And so I, I often joke like, okay, you've been carrying this around for 35 years. Can I not have 67 days <laughs> to do this for that you? That seems like or a you very reasonable request. Yeah. And I think about like what sort of freedom would we all have in the world if we were able to push through, get through these these limiting beliefs? I think about like imagine what we all could do and achieve and just more than that, like how we could really maybe step into the life that we want to live. Cause I think a lot of us feel, you know, separated from that. And money is certainly something that we use as, as a linchpin. And in your book relaunch, you talk about, um, you talk about the why in our lives and you say that the, the truth of who we are, it is often obscured from us hiding in plain sight as we just struggle to figure out the basis of our why, like, why do things matter? Why are we here? Why do we want to serve and support others? I really like that. Uh, I talk about 
why all the time when it relates to money, but how do we like how do we find our way back to have this understanding of like why? Why are we even doing any of this? Mm, so this is so it's so nicely put into the framework of psychology and what we what we have within us we're projecting without. You know, right? It's it's what what's within is without and and when we look at that we are a direct reflection of our business. Let's just start there. And if you're not in alignment with what you are doing with your business, have you ever worked? You feel like you're doing everything. I just, <laughs> I've done everything I'm supposed to, and it hasn't happened for me. And yet, you know, Susie down the road, or, you know, Susie who's doing the same thing, it's just coming so easily to her. And so where I get into the concept of 3HQ, that, you know, the 3HQ method, this framework, the head, the heart, the higher self in the heart, once we've gotten rid of your bugs, once we've gotten rid of your, you know, limiting beliefs, once we've changed your thought processes, because you're now more the, you know, the, the, the wiser of what I've just talked about, then we go into that heart. And in order to really assess, you got to assess where you are in all areas of your life. And I actually have people give themselves scores. I take them through this process. And then you realize one area of your life can actually be holding back. It's called the relaunch effect. You from having that success in other areas of your life. And so it's all interrelated. Everything is aligned together and whether you're having a relaunch because you're you know going through a relationship situation a divorce whether you're having a health relaunch whether you're having a business relaunch whether a relaunch is just getting to the next level in your company of revenue of your profit margins of being what what are you taking home how often do we work with people that are you know they they're making the revenue but they're not taking any of it home. Right. And you sit there and it's like, is that your why? Is your why designed so that you're going to work yourself to the bone? You're not able to take the vacations. You know, it's a lifestyle of success that I like to align people with. What is it? And it could be very different for me, for you, for others listening. You know, for me, I love travel. Me too. I love spending, I love spending time with my family. That's what I'm, I work so I can play. Yes. I love that. You also, I did read, you're also a self-confessed adrenaline junkie. <laughs> and that's part of, yeah, I really, you know what? I have always been, I am one of those, like, you know, if it, if it's kind of that crazy, I skydive, you know, it's just like, I love it. I love that feeling of pushing yourself because I don't like being stuck in my comfort zone. And I really don't like being stuck in any type of burnout zone. And they say, I, I have, I have one, another zone that I talk about a lot, which is the G zone, which is at that higher self level. And the G zone is really broken into your greatness zone, your growth zone, your gratitude zone, and this concept of, you know, hey, I want to be grateful. But the one zone I want to talk about with what you just said, with me being this adrenaline junkie, is that I want to continue to feel like I'm growing. And for me, when I'm putting out my great list and I'm like, this is, these are all the things that I want to do. Then when I look at growth, how do I achieve those? What do I need to actually be doing? What courses do I need to be taking? How do I, you know, get myself into that, that, you know, ability to go out and do some of the things that I want to do athletically? Like I have to train, I have to. And so it's so important to be thinking first and foremost, what do you want on that great list? What do you want to be able to do? And then looking at the growth as, all right, I want to get in my G zone. I need to start thinking about that next level. Yeah. So I, as you're talking, I'm just thinking this idea of higher self and that, that kind of G zone. Like, uh, I don't know the exact question I'm, I'm trying to ask, but I'm, I'm almost thinking maybe it's as simplistic and yet very complex of like, how do we actually reach that place? So the greatest part is that I'm a simple girl. I like and that. I, if it gets too, <laughs> if it gets too complicated, I, I'm, I'm out. <laughs> I'm not interested. And so when you think about 3HQ, you think about getting out of your head, 
getting into your heart so you can tap into that higher self. What is that higher self? That higher self is the energy associated with actually bringing things into your life that you want, manifesting whatever you want. And, you know, I often say when you start working with a coach, you better darn well know that that coach has been able to manifest, bring into her life, his life, what you're really looking for in your life, because there is something that we know to be true with psychology, with um, the human, you know, existence that it, the coach has the ability to impact whether you are able to hit your goal or not. And it's a crazy thing that if I'm a coach and I don't believe that you can actually have an eight-figure business, Mm, then that will directly impact if you're going to have an eight-figure business because I'm your coach. Whereas, heck, I believe that literally I haven't found somebody who's come to me that has, you know, some wild, crazy, you know, desire to be, you know, have this under their, their greatness. I have never said, you know what? Mm, I don't see it. I I truly believe that. So with my believing, I then can coach them into achieving. Mm. And it's a really incredible experience. It goes back to Carl Jung, who was one of the founders of modern day psychology. So it's, it's it's a fascinating perspective, but make sure that as you are getting super clear and if, you know, Hey, we all need, when we go out and we start to learn how to play, you know, tennis or some of these other sports, we want to coach to help you get there faster. And that's what a solid coach, whether, you know, financial advisor, you got to have these people who know what they're doing and believe that you can actually do it. I'm Samantha Cole, host of the new season of understood the Pornhub empire. Over the course of four episodes, I'll tell you how a horny YouTube knockoff in Canada came to dominate the porn world, only to shatter their cheeky reputation in a massive scandal. The Pornhub Empire is a new season of Understood from the CBC. Available now wherever you get your podcasts. Hi, I'm Karina Bemisterfer, host of Morning Cup of Murder, your daily true crime podcast. Yes, you heard me right. Daily True Crime. Every day, Morning Cup of Murder tells you a straightforward, short-form story about murder, true crime, cold cases, disappearances, serial killers, cults, and more. And I do that all in under 15 minutes. With over three years of stories and over 20 million downloads, the Morning Cup of Murder podcast has become a staple of so many people's daily routines. So why not add it to yours? Stream Morning Cup of Murder everywhere you listen to podcasts. And remember, stay safe. So where, tell me about how you you decided, okay, I've got to somehow put this all together and, and create this book relaunch. And, you know, wh- what do you hope the, the readers get out of it? So uh, relaunch has been kind of coming up for me for years and years and years of the all the relaunches. I was asked, you know, how many relaunches have you really had? And I guess I'm now the relaunch queen because (laughs) I've had so many significant relaunches that are, you know, life changing. Um, Even one of them would be life changing, whether it was melanoma that I had, the divorce that I had, being a single mom of three, you know, moving after 25 years, selling a house, losing my mom to cancer, losing my dad. I mean, the list goes on and on and on and on. But I felt like after my mom died and I took care of her the last 14 months, that I needed to share the 3HQ process because so much of it came from her, from the ability to be able to move through things in life gracefully and be able to actually not get flattened by yet another relaunch that is potentially around the corner right now. And so once I I had all this, you know, I it was right during the pandemic. And so I didn't have the ability to go do an eat, pray, love year. And I didn't have the ability to go do a wild adventure, you know, off walking. I had to come up with something else and it was the book. And I I buried myself into my office and everyone was working from home and created this as a a manifesto for people to be able to get through some of the biggest challenges and have transitions create transformations, but in positive ways so that you don't feel like you don't have, you know, hope 
but you actually can get through. And I, I have a podcast as well that I've interviewed over 150 people that have had some of the most insane relaunches that you could imagine. And I ask the question whether on air or off, I say, you know, if you could go back and change what happened, would you? Wow. And Sean, not one yeah. person has ever said I would. And we're talking near death experience. We're talking terrible, you know, awful, awful things. Not one. Wow. I mean, at first, I just want to say thank you for sharing candidly your your own relaunches. Maybe think of mine. We share some some similar ones. I, I've been mm. divorced myself and lost literally mm. every asset that I owned. Um, I had a miscarriage of twins at 11 weeks that was very difficult. And um, about four years ago, um, became permanently deaf in my left ear with 24-7 tinnitus that I deal with every day. And it creates all sorts of other bevy of wonderful things sure like does. anxiety and, and panic disorders and all sorts of things. So, but, but, I, but what I love about having these kind of candid conversations is that for anyone listening, I hope that you know you're not alone, that this is what we all go through. I mean, this is the part of life. This is part of the process. And that, you know, there's a support system out there and and great resources like yourself and your book to really help people feel like like they're not alone. And I'm, I'm thinking we're in our last, like kind of, you know, 60, 90 days here of this year. And if I'm listening right now, and, and I really want to, I really want to get over some of these limiting beliefs and roadblocks and start going from the process of dreaming about my goals in my life to actually thriving and living them out. You know, what, what would you tell someone listening right now? Like, what should I be focusing on and thinking about like the, this, you know, last couple months of the year? I always love when you have a quarter. The quarter is like this fresh new ability, right? And so today is the beginning, uh, as we're recording this, the beginning of fall. And I think, wow, what can I do in the next 90 days? I can blast a belief, a limiting belief. And what would happen if in one quarter from now, you no longer held that belief anymore? How would that impact your life? Wow. I think it would be probably pretty powerful. <laughs> pretty amazing. Yeah. I love that. Um, I, I mean, just think of, I'm just thinking about like the release that I hope everybody listening feels that that, that is possible, that even if no matter how old you are, that belief has been with you for as many years as you can remember that like what you're telling us, Hillary, is it can get blasted and, you know, that, that anything really is, is possible. Yeah. And I've been doing this for, I've been, I've been running businesses. I've, had, you know, corporate experience for almost 10 years and literally for two decades, I have coached along with all my companies and it's, it's powerful. And this process, you know, I'm a living, <laughs> I'm living right now because I have been able to take the three HQ and have it with me at all times. I could listen to Hillary for hours. She's got a very soothing and inviting voice, but I really love her honest recount of her own relaunches in life. And my hope is that you found some inspiration in her words, and maybe you're excited now about this journey of connecting your head, heart, and higher self so that you can reach these goals, so that you can maybe bring in something new in the new year. Maybe you're ready to kick these goals into serious relaunch mode and move past these belief systems that are just no longer serving you. If you want to learn more about Hillary, her book Relaunch, and everything that we talked about, you can head to her website, which is therelaunchco.com. You can find the book, a link it to Amazon, and a free workshop to really take yourself through the first part of the 3HQ system. As always, if you enjoyed this episode, please share it with a friend or family member, someone who you know might also love this as well. As always, you can head to the show notes to all the links to our episode guest, as well as the amazing sponsors that make this podcast possible. I'll see you back here in a few days to keep talking money. Everyone knows that putting money aside in savings is really important, but then what? Should you keep your savings locked in a CD for a higher rate or keep them liquid in a money market? 
Can your checking account help you save too? Or is it about creating the right combination? We believe real banking is a conversation. Let's talk about the savings options that are right for you. Learn more at sandyspringbank.com. Member FDIC.